Anyway, welcome to the channel and in this video we're going to be asking one simple question. That question is this. Is the Canary Island palm, Phoenix canariensis, is it truly cold hardy? Even more so, is it cold hardy enough to survive here in the UK over our wet crappy winters? Well, the answer is both yes and no. And to find out more, I'm going to go into the minutiae of detail. So um, hold on to your pants, let's find out more. So I'm going to assume the reason why you're asking this question is because you know that there are some very hardy palms out there. You've got the uh, the Chuzan palm, you've got the um, European fan palm, and uh, and you've got the uh, the needle palm, which uh, we saw recently at uh, Wisley Gardens, my favourite gardens. And uh, Tommy's the problem with the needle palm is, although it is a genuine palm and incredibly cold tolerant, it doesn't have that typical kind of palm-like habit. So, um, regarding the Canary Island palm, if you live near where I do on the south coast, you'll find that there are plenty. I mean, literally, there are hundreds of these large Canary Island palms uh, hanging around. And um, we've had some very cold temperatures recently. We've had last year temperatures down to minus five degrees Celsius and the year before went down to minus eight degrees Celsius. And anecdotally, people say that the Canary Island Palm can tolerate temperatures down to between minus 10 and minus 12 Celsius. So if you look at the RHS list of hardiness, it says on there that plants that tolerate between one and minus five degrees Celsius are considered half hardy and plants that tolerate temperatures down to a minus five to a minus 10 degrees Celsius uh, with some damage are considered fully hardy. So surely the uh, Canary Island palm is fully hardy. Well, <laughs> it's not real. I'll tell you why. Now we're making this video in May and come May, you can go down to the local supermarket and you'll find them selling pallet loads of small uh, Phoenix palms uh, for about six or seven pounds, yeah, hundreds of them. So there are hundreds of these being sold, but there is an issue. While they are small, they, they really, really struggle to cope with the cold. So you can buy one, it won't cost you much money. You can plant it out right at the beginning of the season. You've got the whole year for it to settle and establish. Um, but really, they don't tend to do much. It's gonna take, really, a couple of years before it settles in and starts to grow properly. But the thing is with these young plants is they've got very low resistance to cold weather. We had, uh, we had bought a small one, put it out last year, and even with that minus four, minus five degrees centigrade, it really didn't cope and it had spear pull. If you've not come across spear pull before, it's where the, uh, the, uh, the crown sort of dies inside and then you can pull out all those palm fronds. It's a bit unsightly, it doesn't look very good and quite often they don't survive, especially if they're small, large specimens will. And uh, I'll show you a little image of some uh, larger specimens where they have suffered from spear pull but have then subsequently recovered. So if you've picked yourself up one of these small Phoenix canariensis, and just as a point of note, the canariensis part of it has nothing to do with the canary bird. It's all about the Canary Islands, which also has nothing to do with the canary bird, and I won't go into the reasons for that, but it's the Romans who are responsible. Then you need to put your plants somewhere sheltered. Um, it needs to be, if you can, on a south-facing wall. So it's got protection of the wall. It's got sun all day, all year long. Um, in fact, we saw, when we went to um, Arundel Castle there, Dotted Gardens there, they've, they've had some young plants there which they have been put in um, in these quite sheltered areas in order to get them bolt up and up so that they can tolerate the, uh, the cold weather as they get bigger. But if it's you doing it and it's in your garden and you, you know, plant it as best as you can in a sheltered area that does get full sun all year round, but make sure that come the winter, if there's any threat of late frost, then you need to put some protection on it. And I'd recommend a few layers of horticultural fleece and uh, and if you're still worried, then put over like a little rain cover to keep the water off it, because if you get water into the crown, then subsequently that crown freezes, and it's gonna kill the base of the crown, and once again, you've got spear pull coming out of your ears. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. I've got something important to say. 
if you've enjoyed this video or just find some of the information in it useful to you then consider clicking on the like button that way it makes it a lot easier for youtube to find other people who want to find that information anyway no further ado let's continue finding out what old boy will us to say so to answer the question yes the phoenix coherences is extremely hardy once it has established once it's got that thick trunk it's got a mass of shoots coming out the crown then really it can tolerate very very cold temperatures which is why we have so many large ones down here in the south coast and we did see one we did see one up in um chelsea uh last year and again that was planted on a south facing wall and it's got an absolutely massive crown i think that's crowns you can get to about uh, six meters wide but going back to what i was saying when they're small they can't cope with the cold temperatures so somehow it's down to you to protect them till they get to a size where they can then tolerate the cold temperatures and uh i know the question you're asking it's a date palm yes it is can you eat those dates well you can but it's not as good as it's a cousin the uh the phoenix dactyl dactylifera uh dactyl meaning finger bone or finger bleh. Um, but yeah, it is an edible date palm, just not as good. And on that subject, med dual dates are absolutely amazing. Really, really lovely. <laughs> Back in my chair. Anyway, yeah, so um, there you have it. That is the answer to the question. It's uh, a little bit more complicated than usual, but you know, you get the drift. It, you need some, it is hardy, but when it's young, it's not. It just needs to mature. Down to you to sort that out, make sure it survives until it does mature. Anyway, if you've got any uh, great tips or any advice, or if you want to share your experience of growing this, this absolutely gorgeous palm. I mean, it is an absolutely fantastic specimen, especially once mature, really, really exotic. Um, then let us know, put that in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Goodbye. If you enjoyed that, we have got plenty more videos for you to look at. Just have a quick search into our video uh, library. Otherwise, you can check on this one here. And uh, if that's not your uh, cup of tea, try that one there. Enjoy, enjoy these while I've still got the energy to do them.